if you use Quizlet in your classroom, there's a way to embed a Quizlet into Schoology so that students can go through all of the terms or all of the flashcards that you create for them. Now, normally, if you are not a subscriber to Quizlet, which we are currently not, and students are not able to create their own accounts, what you can do is by embedding, you will be able to allow the students to view an entire set of flashcards or whatever other um, matching or other, other Quizlet game that you're going to use with them. If you were to do it outside of Schoology and just in Quizlet, the students are going to be limited to only nine cards, and then it's going to ask them to log in or create an account, which they cannot do. So here's a quick workaround. So when you're in Quizlet, you can either go to sets that you have created, or you can do a search for a set. And once you find one that you want to use, what you'll do is you'll click on it, and then once this loads, you're going to come down beneath the set, and you're going to go over here to these three dots, and you're going to click on it, and you're going to click Embed. So this is the coding uh, that we're going to copy and we're going to put into Schoology. Now you can see here by default, when the students click on this, when I bring this over into Schoology, it's going to go to the matching game aspect of Quizlet. If you want to have them go by default to flashcards, you can choose that and it will change this code below. But the students will have the capability of um, doing this in any single one of these that are available. So you don't have to do anything with the code other than copy it. So I'm going to click Copy HTML. And then I'm going to hop on over to my Schoology course. And let's say I want to put this in my Quizlet folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to add materials and you're going to select add page. So in this page, you're going to give it a title. And then in this box here, you're not going to paste that code in this box. You're going to click over on the right hand side of the body of this page and you're going to switch this to HTML, which is the coding language. Once you're in HTML, then you can right click and you can paste the code, which you can see right here. Then all you need to do is hit create and you are done. So we're going to click on this so that you can see what it looks like. So now if I click on this Quizlet that I now embedded, you can see here I can choose a study mode, but by default, because I chose flashcards, that's the one that's on and then the students will be able to go through all of these cards, the entire set. This has 31 cards, and the students will be able to take the entire set without requiring a login for Quizlet.